Hey, Peter here with Unison, and today we're going to be reconstructing the drop lead from Tiesto and Zeko's track, Jackie Chan, using Exfer's Serum. Before we get started, let's just check out the finished patch and A-B it against the reference. So our goal today is to work on our synthesis skills by turning this... into this. For those of you who just want to grab this patch, you can find a link to it in the description below, along with links to the MIDI files. And for those of you who want to follow along and learn how to recreate it from scratch, let's dive right in. Alright, so starting off with a fresh preset, we've got Exfer's default saw wave here. We're going to start off by making some mono synth and dialing in some portamento. Then we're going to turn the phase knob on oscillator A all the way to the right. That just enables phase memory so that each note's phase starts where the previous note's phase left off. That just kind of smooths out the transition between notes a little bit. But on the reference, we're not just hearing one note. We're hearing this thick wash of unison voices. So I'm going to add in 15 unison voices on oscillator A. Pinch those in towards the center just a bit. Turn the blend up. And then over in the global tab, we have some additional settings for the unison voices. We're going to change the unison mode to super so that most of the voices are going to be clustered around the center, but the voices out on the sides are going to be pushed further out to the sides. And then we're going to stack the unison voices three octaves higher. Okay, now we're going to use oscillator B as a frequency modulation source for oscillator A. So opening up oscillator B, we're going to turn the volume all the way down so that we can't hear oscillator B. And over in oscillator A's warp mode, we'll select FM from B. Thicken up that FM source with its own unison voices. Gonna add 16. Again, pinch those in, turn the blend up. And this time we're gonna set our unison mode to exponential. Enable phase memory for oscillator B as well. And then change the wavetable to mellow but unstable. And I want to get more of a pinched sound with some higher harmonics, so I'm going to set oscillator B's warp mode to pulse width modulation and adjust that until it sounds about right. And we want a bit of a warmer sound, so I'm going to switch from our default saw wave over to a basic Moog sound. I wanted to use this wavetable instead because it gives us this option for this extra notch up top here. You can hear that brings out some more complexity on the top end. Alright, setting up envelope 1 just to get a slightly pluckier sound. I'm gonna turn the sustain down a bit. Turn down the decay so it matches the tempo. And just soften up the leading edge of the sound by extending our attack time. Compensate on the volume loss there by turning up our master volume. Alright, we've got some extraneous sub frequencies that we need to chop off, so I'm going to open up our FX filter over here in the FX section. If you don't have speakers that reproduce those frequencies, you can see what's happening on this analyzer here. So we're just going to use a high 18 filter. I purposefully chose to use the FX filter for this because it rolls off some of the high end as well. You can see that in action on the analyzer here. I'm 
Okay, I want to get a slightly more aggressive sound, so I'm going to send this into a multiband compressor. Dial in the threshold. And shorten up the release time for a snappier sound. And I wanted to use this in multiband mode so we could get some additional control on the high frequencies. Okay, let's give the sound some space to sit in. We'll just dial in a touch of hyper and dimension and just a little bit of reverb. Turn the reverb's decay down. Want it to be felt more than heard. Alright, let's send the sound through a Moglo 18 filter so we can add a resonant peak up top that we modulate with envelope 2. Drag and drop envelope 2 to the filter cutoff. Turn up our resonance. Make sure to turn up the fat knob here so we don't mess with the level that we're sending into our compressor. And then we'll dial in the filter cutoffs modulation source. Okay, a couple of missing pieces. We need something going on on the noise oscillator, and we're missing another high harmonic that we can add in with the sub oscillator. For some reason, wind chimes ended up sounding pretty good here. Sounds pretty silly in solo, but in context it ended up working pretty well. And we're going to control the level of the noise oscillator using envelope 2 as well. Alright, and just adding this one extra harmonic using the sub oscillator. Using this pulse wave. Final EQ touch ups, a small boost in the mid range, and another small boost up around 7 or 8k. adds a bit of body. And some edge. If you want, you can make the sound cut more by turning up the octave of the sub oscillator. And you can get a slightly edgier sound by switching the filter to a Moglo 6 instead of a Moglo 18. Alright, now let's just build this up one more time so you can hear what each step is contributing. So at the end of several of the phrases, we have these pitch dives. 
If you want, you can just perform those using your pitch wheel. But it sounded to me like these pitch dives were pushed more out to the side and sitting in a slightly different space. So I decided to go ahead and make a second patch just for these parts. It's going to be pretty similar to the patch we just made, but with a few tweaks. So we're going to use our current patch as our starting point. This time we're going to use LFO2 as our modulation source for the filter cutoff. And we're just going to set it to an eighth note downward ramp in envelope mode. And dial in our resonance. And then we're going to use LFO1 to modulate our global master tuning. I'm going to set this up the same way as LFO2, only we're going to cut the height of our downward ramp in half. That way the pitch starts in its current position and sweeps downwards. And while we're over in the matrix tab, let's just tweak the curve of our filter cutoff modulation. And switch the noise oscillator over to a more basic ARP pink noise. And tighten up our main envelope. All right, so it sounds like maybe we need some chorus and a bit of distortion. Play around with the chorus settings till it sounds close. Add a bit of tube distortion. And touch up our multiband settings a bit. Fine tune our hyper dimension and reverb. And open up our high pass filter. Let in just a little bit more low end. All right, so now we have the pitch dives in place and they're positioned slightly further out to the sides. And finally, we're sending the sound through a ducker that we're gonna trigger with a dummy kick. You can use any ducker you want or a compressor with a side chain. I'm using the Fab Filter Pro C. I'm actually using some mid side settings on this so that we have a bit of dry, uncompressed signal coming through the middle channel, but not out on the sides. So here's what it would sound like without any dry signal. But I don't want to lose all that attack, so I'm keeping some dry signal in the middle. And you may see that I have this FabFilter Pro L on the mix bus. That's just there to protect me from peaks if they should arise. You can see here that it's not doing anything. All right, that should do it. If you like what we're doing here at Unison, I hope you'll hit subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments or requests, just leave those in the comment section below. For more sounds like this, head on over to unison.audio to check out our sound packs for Serum and see what else we've been working on. This has been Peter from Unison, and the track is Jackie Chan by Tiesto and Zeko.